We're launching our Veterans Voice listening campaign. Um, we're very proud of the service of our armed forces and especially veterans and their families. So we want to hear from them. We want to hear about their experience. We want to hear what barriers they may be facing and also what Labour can do. So I want to really hear that authentic veterans voice through our local events up and down the country so that veterans can really feel that they're being heard by the Labour Party and can shape our future plan. Labour's got um, some commitments already. We know particularly uh, mental health and access to mental health services. We've built in um, a specific channel for veterans in the wider mental health offering that Rosanna Allen Khan is um, putting out there as uh, Shadow Minister for Mental Health. We also know that there are certain commitments under the Armed Forces Covenant, whether it's housing or education, um, that really do uh, need to be met, and they are by local authorities, but we want to put the Armed Forces Covenant more widely into all aspects of government, so it would cover wider things like uh, employment and pensions too. You mentioned the specific channel on mental health. We've already got Op Courage. That's already designed, isn't it, to provide a specific route for veterans. So what are you offering that's different? Well, what we want to try and tackle is the failings of the government because uh, it's, it's going backwards. You know, wait times have gone back a week already compared to last year. So by putting the additional funds in uh, that have been costed already, that will make sure uh, in the wider package that people will be seen within a month. So how much are those additional funds? Well, there's a billion pounds that's been found uh, uh, costed for by Rosenna's plans. That's going to be used into this specific mental health project up and down the country. There'll be mental health hubs and people will be seen within a month. Is that a billion pounds for veterans' mental health or a billion pounds across mental health? It's a billion pounds across mental health, but there will be a specific target. How much of that is going to go specifically to veterans then? Partly by having the better services and the guarantee to be seen within a month, that will also that will be you know for veterans as well. Um, we initially found £35 million, pounds, um, but actually we know with more uh, improvements to the general service of mental health through this initial funding, more workforce so that people can be seen more quickly, hubs up and down the country, and basically people will be seen within a month. The thing is the government created an Office for Veterans Affairs. It, it has, it's putting £17 million pounds a year into Op Courage. It has launched research with veterans to find out more about what they want. Are you offering anything that is really different here? I think one of the things you have to be conscious of is actual delivery. So for example, through the Office, Office of Veterans Affairs, Johnny Mercer saying he wants to deliver a veteran's ID card by the end of the year. Well, let's see if that happens. Because quite frankly, it is about delivery. It's not also about listening to people's concerns. And we want to make sure that veterans, you know, at the heart of our uh, programme going forward, so that some of those day-to-day -day issues are, are also tackled that are happening to citizens and veterans. Veterans are citizens, um, whether it comes to housing, whether it comes to access to services, whether it comes to, you know, support uh, when leaving the army into employment. We want to see some of the commitments that have been made really rolled out and pushed out. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.